guess. So, anyway, welcome to the host of the panel. <laughs> Yay! Um, so <laughs> um, I will be your host. Um, you already know who I am. I'm Maradia. Unfortunately, a lot of um, the other our other friends couldn't be here because they all kind of got sick with um, the virus. We can't name it because YouTube will demonetize us, but it's the virus. They got sick with a uh, Corvid 20, you know, the type of bird. <laughs> they fell down there, picked them all up, flew off of them. Where'd they go? I don't know. I didn't bother chasing them. Fair enough. <laughs> it, it, Solix just came over the other day. I'm very scared. I'm going to get sick. Hmm. And he, he has it, like, really bad, like, you think his migraines are bad, like, then, it's bad now. Hmm. So it's oh. fair enough. How are you guys holding up in quarantine? I'm, uh, I'm doing pretty good. I've been a little bored, though. Fair enough. It's not a lot to do. There's no adventure anywhere. No adventure, but you can make things. I mean, you could always make your adventures, but I've been making them in the backyard of sorts. And um, it's not that interesting back there. Just a lot of open space and nothing really to like, like I want to go to like, um, what is it? Like a forest kind of area to just like roam around and just see what's there. But like, they're all kind of closed. Like there's like gates around them now because you don't want people to like, I don't know, go there. Yeah, apparently it's a teen hangout. I mean, don't know what that is, but apparently it's bad. <laughs> but I just been chilling out in this room. Well, during a quarantine, chilling out is the best thing you could do, most likely, I'd assume. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to, but, you know, get through it. So, have you been working on any inventions, Equius, or...? Occasionally. The thing is, when you have everything else to do, you tend to do, like, these two things mainly, and you only want to do those things. And then when you're forced to do those two things, it is no longer fun. You do not... That is fair enough. ...to do that. However, I have found many bones, which I think would interest you, Aradia. Yes. Of course it does. <laughs> It'd be crazy if, if it didn't. Maybe that's how you know if I got sick. Oh, God. Yeah, now there's, like, murder bee things. I did hmm. hear about those. Yeah, Sulks chased after a hive of them thinking it was bees, and it was not. Definitely was not. He's fine. Apparently trolls are resistant to them. Humans are very much not. Hmm. Well, I hope he does not introduce them to the humans, then. That would be I think he was the one who might have brought them over, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> who, who knows at this point? But, like, it's been so boring. I mean, at least when we were, like, you know, trying to save the universe, we are doing something. Except when we were stuck on that meteor. Just then we were yeah. doing anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, though, like I can't imagine being in a pandemic when one of your main ways of going through the world is through licking. I mean, I can't believe it. It's it's so tragic that she's blind and that she she needs to lick to see during this pandemic. I mean, uh, I guess she can't taste anything because she's sick. Oh yeah, oh. <laughs> so she really must be not be able to see. Has anyone heard from Terezi in a while? <laughs> no. No. No, I mean. I mean. I don't mean to be rude or anything, but like, I haven't heard from her in a while. Now I'm kind of worried. <laughs> Probably should go check out with her. She has the perk of working legs. So I mean, she may not be able to see, but she can hear. And walk. I mean, so yeah, I mean, at least she has working limbs and like Briska. <laughs> I had to. It was the one thing I had to do. Like, literally, you killed me. 
You killed yeah. me. I you? think it's I think it's fair. Like, yeah, yeah, that's you fair. <laughs> I'm I'm saying it's all it's all even at this point. We all do oh, really. Yeah. And then Briska. Bris Briska, you know, I, I want to thank you for not apologizing for anything. Um <laughs> really. But like the way the events happened, I think angered me a little bit. You know, I don't really like being killed per se. Yeah, but like sending him to kill her oh, that was wasn't very possible of you dude yeah i mean like we all have faults here except for nepeda i think Aww. Like, even i have my own faults Aguias and i have a little history with feelings and understanding that you can't program feelings into a robot for your friends but oh, you know it's just <laughs> rude to do so exactly you shouldn't and see we're learning we're building upon oh, wow. these things even though i ripped out my own heart all the underlying issues today <laughs> we're all we're all going through it i mean like what else are we gonna do in this pandemic like we can't even escape to dream bubbles they're even quarantined there too they are really yeah how terrible except like especially like like got which land it was but like one of them is like really on lockdown now and like the thing is the one that ed um the john child has mm. the one with the, the little lizard thingies oh the, the little lizards yeah. are very fun the noises they make are quite pleasant i like the way the tongue sticks out of their mouth <laughs> it's very weird i never really seen anything like that. i don't know what that is it's, it's like a bubble thing i don't yeah, it like, comes out of their mouth. It's cool. It's like a little bubble thingy, yeah. I really thought about it like that. I know Terezi before the entire pandemic happened, she gave me one of her scale mates and it's like staring me down right now. <laughs> Might be haunted. Odd. Because it wasn't just like or she hangs them. She does. Yeah, I don't know why she does that. I think I've always thought it was kind of weird. But like, so does that mean they're dead and they come back to haunt me? Like, I can talk to spirits. There's no spirit in there, but I'm still scared. <laughs> Understandably so. Uh, the Dirk human with his smuppets, as I think they're called. Yeah, they're kind of weird too. Like, those are creepy. The pattern to making one, and I've attempted it yet. I don't want to see it finished. <laughs> Faces scare me. Its presence is menacing in every way, shape, and form. It's not very appropriate either, I heard, from the, the Dave human. They're not... They're not good, apparently. I don't know. They're pretty creepy looking. I can agree on that part, at least. I think they make me just, like, a tiny bit uncomfortable. They make me very I don't uncomfortable. Know. I honestly don't know if he has so many of them. It's a weird obsession, I think. Like, I think he should be on the the human show, um, My Strange Addiction. I've been watching a lot of that. Humans are very weird. They obsess over things that aren't things to be obsessed with. But then again, I guess so do we. That is true. And those are most like hobbies. I mean, I see corpse parties as hard hobbies, so. You see corpse parties as a hobby? I mean, they're fun to put together. Come on, it's like a little project. Do you go to corpse parties yeah. as a hobby, or do you just like looking at them like? You're just throwing them. Hey. Because from my what I've heard, from my children, the corpse parties are supposed to be quite sad. I mean, yeah, but like, shouldn't we celebrate a new stepping stone and someone's now finished life? That's a fair point, but out of all the ways to like, okay, who who thought it was a good idea to put dead humans inside a box, yeah. put a bunch of other humans around said box, and then just be like, okay, now cry. I just I have my friend from the last one. Just give the the dead body to a large spider. It's a much more effective method of corpse destruction than. I don't this is where we're going. I think it's more of 
a celebration. I don't think being eaten is a celebration tactic. Unless you see it as such, then I think you need help. Actually, various humans see corpse parties as a celebration of that human's life. I think it's really cool. Me too. Like, there's this one that has, like, they have, like, face paint on the skulls. It's, like, flowers and stuff. And you call it, like, sugar, sugar, sugar skulls or something. And, like, it looks very festive. They are made of sugar. So why are they called that? I think it's just, like, a sugary appeal. I don't know. Hmm. It's, like, a whole celebration of, like, oh, my ancestors have died? I don't know. I thought it was cool, though. (laughs) But this is my friend. His name was Jeff. I don't know. I just named him. <laughs> Hello, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Really be shy. Here, let me help you. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna <laughs> fall now. But yeah, he's just gonna sit over here, just lingering next to me. Goodbye, Jeff. Yeah, he's gonna stay right there. <laughs> But he was from the last course party, and I don't think he got a ride home. Hmm. I don't think any of them did, actually. I don't think of it. It's probably why they're all still down there. I should have brought party hats. But then again, I can't really ship them out to any of you. Because <laughs> then it has to be, like, sprayed down with, like, disinfected stuff. And it's a weird, like, a two weeks period. Or... Like a sweep and a half. That it feels like it at least. Lot. Yeah, it is. It is quite a while at this point. Like, mm-hmm. but we can always rejoice about things in the past. Indeed, like, that is a good way to look at life. It is a better way than just sitting here moping about you know just not doing anything. I mean, as much as I want to get up and, like, run face first into a forest and jump off the side of a cliff and see where it takes me, I really can't. For you have already died, and then you came back, and now if you die again, you're, like, gone, gone. And Fear like- of death is irrelevant. I've died so many times, I think I know what happens after that. Same. That is fair. In your case, I think it's just you come back again. However, I mean, I guess I'm always coming back. I think it's a curse more than a blessing. Hmm. I mean, after so long, I mean, so many times, I was mixed with that frog at one point, you know, and Nepeta was mixed with Dave at one point when she died. Yeah, that was weird. I was mixed with imagine. Dirk's sunglasses. Oh, yeah, you were mixed with Dirk. I was mixed what was it like in his head? Like, were you, like, sharing brains or, like, one continuous brain? A mix of both more or less the separate brain part, and to answer your question, Friska, it was full of self-hatred and homosexual thoughts. Uh, <laughs> What's a homosexual? <laughs> I, the uh, John human explained it to me, or he explained it to Carcat, and then Carcat explained it to me, and then oh, I no, asked to John dead. about it, and then John explained it more to me. It is basically as if... Uh, Let's say if I and Aridin were in a uh, Red Rom relationship, that would be a homosexual relationship. Along That's so weird. It's just a relationship. Like, yeah. you do you, I guess. Humans <laughs> are so weird. To be fair, we probably are quite weird to them. Yeah, but, you know, at least our ways kind of make sense. I mean, to a degree. It took me a while to get used to that the humans don't want to kill us entirely based off our blood color. And then I found out they're the same blood car- car- color as car cats. So I was like, I don't feel that bad anymore. Yeah, I got pretty blown away when I, like, to hear that they didn't need to kill all their food. That was pretty wild. Like, I, did, yeah. I didn't know you didn't have to kill all your food. I mean, more than just grub sauce as well. Like, they can just go somewhere and they give them food. It's the I think it's the hay. I don't know. I got stopped this outside of a few convenience stores when I was getting cake for my corpse party. And <laughs> apparently I need this thing called money, which I took from Dave. Hmm. What if you were to take it without the money? What if you just took it and left? What would they do? Apparently that's illegal. And Terezi will get on my butt about that. 
because she's a troll cop. Oh. It's something her Solix do. I have no idea what that's about. <laughs> hmm. it is but apparently, you know, yeah. yeah. But like, okay, so basically, if you don't do that, they throw you into basically like a prison. Like we know what prisons are because of the condens. Yes. And you know, kind of like those, but they don't kill you and torture you. They just hold the you in there for like a they just like of time. Put you in there. It's yeah, like they just lock hive. you in there for like a period of time. Don't even touch you. They feed you. They clothe you. But they just leave you in there for like a period of time. It's like a, like a weird thing. Like that does not sound unpleasant. So I would say, just go in it. and get something. But if the whole point of putting people in there was so that they can learn from their actions, what's putting them inside inside a place is going to do? I don't understand. I don't understand either. Like, like seriously, how are you going to learn your lesson if there's no actions to like? you know, what you did. Because, like, on Alternia, you, yeah, like, out of all the things you die. Happen, like, out of all the consequences, like, being put inside of a cement block place, I don't think that's, like, the worst thing that could happen to me. Yeah, it's seriously. But, like, if you keep doing worse things, it's, like, a longer period of time. Mm -hmm. It's so weird. So you are basically uh, put in time out. Yeah. <laughs> Like, that's going to do anything? Like, okay, I'm going to do it again anyway. It's time out. Uh, it's like when you have to, like, sit to the side. Like, has Elusis ever done that to you? Like, you have to sit to the side because you did something you weren't really supposed to, and you have to think about what you think about what you did when you really think about, like, you know, beetle spawn? Mm -hmm. My Elusis just sort of maps... Fair enough. You know what? Fair enough. That is pleasant. Napping is pleasant. Yeah. I miss my Lucis. I do too. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's understandable. Uh, I guess. I mean, calling other, like, infant trolls so that your mother can eat must be a lot of work. It is. I mean, the flarping I think it it better. Like, I, I did quite enjoy having flarping. Um, it was just the burden a lot of the time. It's the best way. You could not make any I'm with you, Vriska. I can't pinpoint what exactly it is, but there's so much there. But that one statement. To be fair, so I am still the one who has Jeff over here. Yeah. So I'm not saying much. And Aradia, think of it as an honor. When I killed you, I did not feed you to my Lucis. So, I mean, there's at least, there's something there. Like, Kriska, you killed me by manipulating Solix. By eating mind honey. How does that make it better? <laughs> I have a I flare of I, I would have been like, okay, cool. Good way to look at what you did, Riska. Um, <laughs> that was pretty not cool. Yeah, it was pretty like, like if you were to kill me in a different way, maybe I'd be like, okay, whatever, dope. But like, I did make you pay, so. Mm -hmm. It's all even now. For the most part. Still a little bit salty, but still. That is really I mean, like, I understand the fact that you had a tiny bit of remaining dignity that you weren't fed to a giant spider, Lucis. However, like, I'm assuming death is- well, I know, but death isn't necessarily that great, no matter how it is you go. Your way was especially bad because your mate Sprit killed you. At the time, he yeah. He did not want to. Yeah. Not good on either sides of the, uh, yeah, I mean, like, out of everyone, I think Equius and Nepeta have done the least terrible things. Thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, Nepeta is so, like, so selfless. Like, literally, you went after, like, a murderous clown. Yeah, that kind of, that kind of, like, uh, that kind of backfired back at me a little bit. 
Yeah, but still you did it. So that's always something. I literally did nothing. I did nothing to him. I just kind of sat there and was like, sure, hi, blood. You tried. You, you tried. Sure. It was a mildly pleasant situation if I had to be honest. I would that be mildly pleasant, I think. Well, the death part of the situation wasn't. The being commanded <laughs> by a high blood part was. No, if it were in other, in other contexts where you didn't die, you'd be okay with Gamzee, you know, strangling you. Yes. That is very sad. I don't have time to unpack all that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time to unpack all of that. <laughs> like, at all. <laughs> but, like... No, we do not. <laughs> you you want to talk about something that queers? <laughs> what your feelings are? <laughs> I enjoy it when high bloods take their place in the hemo spectrum. I feel like it is uh, a good thing to do for... Gamzee in particular did practically nothing to, uh, what's the word? Oh, the situation? I forgot the word. Oh. Assert. There we go. Assert there, his yeah. place in the hemo spectrum. Uh, mm. Feferi did. However, I did not have many relationships with her. Eridan, he's a stinky fish boy. I Fair enough. I mean... A stinky fish boy. I don't like Garrett, and I think he's racist. He, he is like very. Like, there's a few times where he's literally spit on me. That is. Right, a few times we met in person as a bad bad on bubble to drug bubble, <laughs> spit on me. I'm like, excuse me? He's quite the needy kismasist, too. He's very yeah. needy. He's spoiled. Spoiled. He is a prince, and he lives in a ship, and he has his rifle, and he shoots from the hip, and he has a friend. And he has a friend who pities quite a bit. Quite a bit, yes, indeed. <laughs> Thank you for finishing my sentence, Nevada. <laughs> me and Fefri may have fought over a certain person at one point in time. Um, but, like, seriously, like, Aridan's kind of, like, he's selfish at a different level than, like, just being a prince. Like, he's, I think he's only friends with Feffrey because she's a princess. Mm -hmm. Or to be empress. Like, seriously. It's really wrong. Yes. And it, all for the wrong reasons. I think the fact that he is racist is like, it adds to the level of the fact that he only wants to be in any type of relationship with Feffrey and then not anyone else. Yeah, I mean, like, come on, man. The only, I think, I think he got in a relationship with Feffrey, not because of who she is, but like to like get more power than he already does, even though he's the like last, the second to last highest place in the hemo spectrum. Yeah, like, throw him a bone, he wants the entire bag. Indeed. I think. I think one of the main things that bothers me is that there are so few sea dwellers, yet uh, Eridan insists on only being among them. And it's like, come on, dude, you can only the have so many human once described to me a, a type of person called a gold digger. Um, I don't know what gold is, but um, he told me that Eridan's a huge gold digger. I don't know what that was about. Hmm. Yeah, I think... I think the rose human has explained what gold is. It's like a rare piece of metal that people want for whatever reason, because it's rare. Why do they want it? Because it's rare. That's it. It's the only reason. There's nothing that cool it. about it. It's just shiny and kind of yellow. Mm, only kind of yellow. That means that's not even cool. Yeah. Like, and apparently humans, like, throughout, like, decades and, like, even, like, centuries have like these things called like they, we know what pirates are you know yes. and they like look yeah. for gold and like treasure and there's like gold is part of the treasure which makes it so stupid like you get it, it's rare but like you don't have to sh like sail and die for this rare thing like it's not even that cool apparently there were moments in history where um humans killed each other and then stole each other's land because of the gold yeah like so stupid just because of the gold? Like, just you know? Yeah. yeah. 
That is unnecessary on a multitude of levels. Yeah, just like, I don't see why the killing needs to happen, honestly. Just like, take the gold and leave. Yeah, okay. like, at least in our, like, you know, actually our civilizations, civilizations know better, but like, seriously. I mean, we just we kill stuff. each other over real things. I mean, at least that, though, like. Ah, yes. <laughs> at least it's not over, like, <laughs> stupid rare metals. Yeah. I like, like, if you do nothing with the metal except for just look at it, then it is practically useless. If you yeah, use like they, they wear it as jewelry, but like even then, it's kind of useless. It's not like the queen's ring where it like makes you like immortal. It just looks cool. It just looks cool. Well, that I understand. Because to be fair, jewelry is nice. And I mean, Kanai gave you a bunch, and Kanai is literally said to me as we're alchemizing things. You can't fight if you're not stylish. I live by that now. That is a good rule. It's a good rule like, then. If you kill someone but you look bad, that means the last thing they're going to see is you looking ugly. And why would you want that? You want the last thing is you want the last thing to, they want they're going to see to be is just like you looking great, looking strong. Yeah. Very killing them. That's like if you're gonna kill I think someone, something you like really, really cool about like killing someone, and then just like okay, there's nothing cool about killing someone, but like you're hotter than that person, you're also like asserting dominance at the same time. Exactly. Yeah, like, like you might kill you, plus I'm hotter than you. <laughs> I always dress up quite nicely for all of my flarping missions. It's 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 integral to the character. You don't just go out there in your normal clothes. You get fully... Yeah. Right. I mean, at least you take care of your appearance. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I think, I think Kanaya would just, like, still be not too happy that we're, like, in basically the same clothes. It's probably yesterday at this point because I've been doing nothing. I don't know about you guys. Like, yeah. it's been a while since, like, I've done laundry. Or cleaned my clothes. Like, I'm running off of minimum stuff right now. I have worn the same thing, sh like, a solid uh, week straight. A, a week is, yeah, pretty short. Yeah, a week is, like, around about, like, six or seven human days. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yes, then a week. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have any other clothes, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, you've been wearing the same thing since 2012, so... I even wore the same shirt after my arm got blown off, so I'm just saying. It, I it, mean, it, you didn't have a chance to get a new shirt, because I kind of beat the, I beat you up yeah. pretty brutally. So, I didn't really give you a chance to get a new shirt, but then again, I was, like, in full rage. And then post God tier, what's the point? It's it's self cleaning. You don't kind of. I just make God tier. God tier clothes ever get dirty? Yes. God, God yes. tier clothes don't like. You could seriously just wear that all the time. I don't. I don't get it. Because like they're practically invincible clothing. It's like yeah. armor that just feels like fabric against your body. It's like why would you want to get rid of that? Yes, you look goofy in it. I have this extremely long hood that I don't need nor want, but it looks so so funny. <laughs> I do that. I will not uh, deny. Uh, but no, but yeah, yeah, you kind of need to clean your clothes. That's that's like a you probably should. You have probably haven't changed your clothes in eight years. That's um, that's it's your more real. I am. I yes. don't know. It's quarantine. I cannot go over there. And force I know, her. but still, it should, like, eight years ago? Seriously? Never to change your clothes. No, <laughs> not necessarily change them, but please wash them. <laughs> okay, once they start getting stinky, and by once they start getting stinky, I mean, like, every five Earth months, um, you start to, like, dip them in water for a couple minutes, and then you just, like, take them out and put them back on. Fair enough. That 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 is acceptable. Uh, do you know the flower lavender? 
Um, not sure. Enjoys it. It's purple and is in this actually good. Cylinder um, shape. It smells nice. Yes, Vriska has it. There we go. Yes. If you just take that or roll around in it, you will smell <laughs> good. And it's like that is a good thing to do because smelling good is pleasant, both to yourself and to everyone around you. Fair enough. I mostly smell like oil, which I don't know how pleasant that is to you guys. I'm sorry if it's not pleasant. Depends on the day. Because sometimes also, your experiments I blow I think the pattern that you sometimes smell like, like rotten milk, and I don't know what that's about. Um, I, it's that's sort of weird. You have I'm a variety of smells, Equius. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them are <laughs> unpleasant. My apologies. Uh, I will grab some lavender at my next convenience and then I will smell like lavender instead of rotting milk or motor oil which I mean together, for the most part I do smell like you know dying things and dirt and grass and whatnot so I can't say I'm any better the dirt and grass are pleasant the decaying corpses is not probably but it's kind of like mixed into this sense so it doesn't make it good that is fair that is understandable yeah. Like, ew. <laughs> um, I actually don't know what Riska would smell like, particularly. What do spiders smell like? Do spiders have a smell? I don't know. I've never, I've never smelled one. I wouldn't know. Hmm. Riska, Maybe what like, do spiders smell like? You know what? If Terezi was here, she could tell us. I know. Yeah. Except... Doesn't doesn't the um the illness does it doesn't it dull your sense your sense of smell? Yeah, that's what we were talking about earlier. Uh, cause she probably we haven't heard from her in like a month, so uh, yeah. we don't really know Wait. what happened. Wait, if Terezi got COVID and she uses her smell of taste and sight to like and her senses smell and smell and taste to see, does that mean that she's like won't be able to see at all? Yeah. Yeah, I think oh, she is unable to <laughs> see at all. She can walk and try to like feel her way around the planet, but I'm not sure if there's. She'll figure it out. I really do. R- Riska, you make her figure out a lot of stuff. That that's not very cool. Like, yeah. Riska, I I think you should, if you're going to be a Moira, I do not know your quadrant with her. I'm going to assume it's, it's a Moira yeah. relationship because, like, as far as I know, it's well, not. I'm glad you asked. Okay, so me personally, um, I think I would put them in a sort of like kiss maces ish because there's a lot of underlying emotions that they're not willing to talk about because they're closed off to one another because of the things they've done to each other. But, um, yeah, kiss maces definitely. Oh. A, a Kismasis Kismasis relationship does seem to fill in their quadrant well, yet I do not know if there are romantic feelings in there. Are there Riska? I I am not you, I would not know. Yeah. Essie. Um it's it's confusing right now. It's complicated. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of things that have happened on both of our sides. Uh, you, you're all aware of all of them. I do not need to get into all of the, the in many incidences, um, even going back multi-generational um, incidences between us. Um, you're, it's, it's, a, it's, it's confusing. It's complicated. Thank you for that. To be fair, confusing is a generally good way to explain any quadrant, really. I mean, it takes a lot of energy. Yeah. Quadrants aren't that confusing, guys. Come on. They are not, yet sometimes... It's a, it is often a kiss relationship that is the I mean, most confusing, because you like them, but you don't. And it's like, ooh, ooh, cool. <laughs> it's, it's a little it's fancy, it's a little snazzy. I think, yeah, snazzy is a good word for the it. The best way I would describe a Kismas's relationship is being in this constant state of not knowing whether you want to make up with this person or beat them the hell up. 
Fair enough. And that, is, and that is confusing. Would you would you disagree? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> that is fair. I mean, like, yeah, I know how. Oh, sorry. Recently, Car Cat lended me um, one of his his romance novels, and I've been <gasps> reading. Um, so it's it's been giving me some insight into not really. I mean, I understand the quadrants, obviously, but like it's been giving me it's 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 quite an interesting read, I'd say. Mm. I'm surprised he let you touch that or go anywhere near. Like one time, I went over to like his hive, and I was like, "Oh, can we watch a movie or something?" I'm kind of really bored. He was just not, he was not doing anything but cursing me out. And he was like, don't touch my rom-coms. And I was like, I wasn't going to. He and Dave watch so many rom-coms. And any time I go into their hive at any given moment, I even like knock on the door or something to be polite. And it's like, ended up breaking the door because of that. But uh, I go in there and they're just watching rom-coms all the time every single time D- like how I many had are there moments walking in on them like they're just like kissing and i was like you know maybe wait until i leave like i just went to get my belongings because i left it like okay i may have left the shovel in his backyard because i was trying to dig up more little there's these little tiny skeleton things and they're like so cool but they're like seven eight feet under the ground so it took me a while and i accidentally forgot all my stuff there Mm. and this is what i get for leaving my stuff you leave your stuff there and then you walk in on them smooching yeah i i I doubt that they're not even paying attention to the to the movie though exactly What, what is the point of putting on a film if you are just going to be smooching the whole time so stupid like the john human understands this very much. I've spoken to him about movies before. He only speaks about Nicolas Cage movies. Mm. Uh, but yeah. uh, he, he does bad. not understand the point of smooching during a movie. You you are supposed to be watching it. So why would you yeah. why would you ignore it? Maybe they just like some background noise while they smooch? I don't know. I don't... Why not put on music? You do I mean, not have to pay more attention fitting. to music. But like, so weird. Uh, it reminds me of a very weird question though. Equius, you yes. like everything strong, but you also like milk. What do you put in your coffee? Um, <laughs> I need I need you to know this because like, we were talking about how I sometimes smell like rotten milk and that is because I try to get milk, and then I'm too strong, and then I break the milk cup, and then I get the milk all over me, and then I do not wash my clothing, and then I smell like rotted milk. The same thing happens with coffee, but the thing is that coffee tends to be quite hot, so then I burn myself, and that is not pleasant in any way, shape, or form, so I tend to not drink coffee unless someone else is pouring it into my mouth, but that is awkward for both sides of the relationship. So I tend to not- Now you got me worried. Has anyone ever poured anything into your mouth before? <laughs> that would <Yes>. be wildly <laughs> One time, one time, the Dirk human and I were watching a show called My Little Pony, which is about uh, colorful hoof beasts. And oh, I saw that around. before. Yes, it is a very splendid show uh, in many levels. Um, and then we were very bored. Before? And um, and apparently off. there's supposed to be animations of uh, like human, like, no, they're not human, but like horses. And I really don't see the resemblance. I, they do not necessarily look like hoof beasts, but they're supposed to be them. And who am I to judge artistic skill? I mean, but we were bored after watching like every single season and he made coffee halfway through. And I was like, I cannot hold the coffee cup. And he's like, I will just pour it into your mouth. And then that happened, and it was very awkward for both sides, but it tasted good, so I had that. Great, thank you. <laughs> Did not need to know all of that, but okay. <laughs> Nepeta asked a question, and I simply answered it. <laughs> I wish I had it. <laughs> you did, though. 
Unless, unless you two are a time player, as far as I know, you are not. You can't go back in time and unask that question. So now you are stuck with the answer. I mean, we're stuck with it for this timeline, for the most part. For this timeline, who knows? Maybe I. She asked that question every single timeline there is. And I hope time, not. <laughs> got the same answer. <laughs> what this might be a different I answer, think though. I'm, I'm, I am under the impression that this may or may not be a doomed timeline. I mean, it feels like something that'd be in a doomed timeline, watching My Little Pony with the Moira and then having them pour coffee in your mouth. How many, have you guys ever I can see how that would be really, really terrible. Yeah. (laughs) Oh my God. Because the thing is, you do not control how much goes into your mouth. So then it like kind of gets backed up in your throat and you mildly Okay, okay, that's oh. it. <laughs> Thank you. How is it with me? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize for answering that question. It's okay. I'm the one that asked. It's my fault. Thank you though. <laughs> like Okay. Have you guys been watching any good shows? Like, Equius was watching My Little Pony before. Any shows, really? Um, I've been watching the show Avatar recently. It's been recommended to me. I quite enjoy the character Azula. She's very... I, I relate to her a lot, I'd say, in many ways. Azula. Oh, is she... Like, what, what's her character like? I mean, I'm, she's only just gotten introduced, but I already like her. She's, I, 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 I don't know. Basically you? Very similar, yes. Oh, that what sounds is... awful. <laughs> May I ask what the show is about? Yeah, what's it's about. It's like, there's this, 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 this kingdom, or like there's these four, four kingdoms with four elements, and they're, they're at war, and like the Fire Nation. And then there's this kid who can do all of the elements, and he needs to stop the Fire Nation. Honestly, the Fire Nation in many ways, uh, very, it, it reminds me of Alternia in, in some, some very strong ways. Uh, I don't know. I so, mean, fair enough. Um, what about you, Nepeta? What have you been watching? Oh, um... I've been watching a lot of those, like, human shows, like, anime. I've been watching a lot of that. Yeah, the Dirk human seems to like those, too. What? He introduced me to this specific one. Um, it's called Devil Man Cry, maybe, I believe. Um, There's so many words that I don't understand in that one sentence. <laughs> like, in that one title of a show. Why is it devil? So- I don't know. Okay, so like this dude turns into like this. I don't know. I don't remember. It's like this he like this creature thing. And he also obviously has red feet has red feelings towards <laughs> towards the towards the other lead character. But we don't talk about that. Um hmm. Hmm. Uh has the dark human told you about this other anime called Sailor Moon, I believe? Uh, yes, he yeah. made me watch a couple of episodes. Hmm. He made me watch- Sailor Moon the- reminds me a lot of Car Cat. It does! It does. I can definitely see that. I do see the resemblance. What if we can get like a costume for Car Cat? <laughs> we would have to get- He would refuse to put it on. <laughs> Exactly. That's why we would have to get the Dave Human to get the costume and then give it to him. Yes! He does anything that Dave Human says, almost. Like, so bad for him. Never saw him like that before in my life. The Dave Human. The Dave Human will definitely be on board. Most definitely. Definitely. I've been watching a lot of the show called Stranger Things. Mm. Oh yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, it's weird. Um, it came out like a couple sweeps ago, but I just kind of started watching it because I kind of got bored. <laughs> but like basically this kid, he this human kid named Will, he he's like riding his bike 
home from playing a game. It, it, it's kind of like Beetle Spawn, but like on like pen and paper. Ooh. Hmm. It's very weird. It has like dice, but it, it's not like Vriska's dice. It just rolls and it's a number. Nothing happens. Boring. That is slightly boring. It is very. I tried playing it with the John Human and it's no, it's not fun. But basically this kid is like writing, like he's writing his um, bike contraption home. And he gets like attacked by this monster thing and it's like been like a secret development by a government. Mm. Basically like the higher anarchy to us. Oh. And like this monster is like body snatching a bunch of people and like these his other friends figure this out and they like try to like save him along with this human girl who has like special power she can like move things with her mind kind of like um i don't really know who that's like can't really think of anyone but she can like move things just by like looking at them it's like mm. weird but like yeah like Vriska, except um 11 usually doesn't kill people with her powers Oh, so you see that too, yeah. But like, it sounds as if this eleven cannot control people, just things. Yeah. Knowledge, Vriska, you can only control trolls and humans to a certain extent. Very much an extent. Yes, H humans an extent. Trolls, you can pretty much do whatever you want. I mean, like, some. that's a scary thing. Yeah. yeah, um... <laughs> like, I could control either you, Aradia, or Nepeta. I, I, um, Eclius's mind is much too strong for me to control at this time. Like, is there anyone's mind that you, like, just won't touch with, like, a 30-foot pole? Because it's just, like, so disgusting? I don't know. I... Not necessarily. I would have gone I, with Gamzee. Oh, yes, but I, I don't think I could control his mind. Anyway, it's, it's, I mean, both because of his status on the hemo spectrum, as well as whatever is going on inside that troll's brain. I, I, I don't. I question what goes on in there sometimes, but I think he's still in the fridge and I think he's still dead. So mm -hmm. guess we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. I thought one of his things was that like, he cannot die, you know? Yeah. I mean, like. Like how? Let's hope he's dead. If he's not dead, then he can just be stuck in the fridge. I mean, like, what can he do when he is inside of a refrigerator? That Fair is enough. I mean, um, not much from what I can gather. Yeah. He was Maybe he's still alive somehow. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Ever since he stopped eating, basically, what's inside of a recuperacoons, like super slime. No, don't don't touch that. Don't eat that. I don't know why he eats that in the first place. Like, who in the right mind? He doesn't have a mind. Never mind. From my knowledge, he only started eating it because his Lucis did not give him food at all. And oh, that's why. That's why about an unhealthy coping mechanism. Yeah, um, like, the, he could have been, like, independent and hunted his own food, though. True. Very strange, man. Yeah. Uh, Nepeta, your Lucis hunted with you for a bit. Did they not mm, yeah but so how would he know to hunt if he had nothing to show him to hunt like i don't know Arthur, but out of all the food. things he could have possibly chosen as his main source of food why is it something that looks so yucky it's just oh, fine don't, don't forget the fago those are very yeah disgusting. The taste, not the most pleasant thing ever. Um, the feeling that you get after it, no, no it's thank you. Let's not drink that. I remember you tried it, and then Equis tried it, and he was passed out on the floor for about like a good four human hours. It, it the taste is not that bad. Dave it's told no, Terezi told me about how the Dave human showed him showed her a thing called monster energy. 
And she gave me some and I almost had a panic attack and die. That wasn't cool. Oh no. I'm glad you did not die. That would be <laughs> yeah, that was sucks. I think I just the corpse party. I mean we could party, but like then I had you really, probably really wouldn't bad it. And just went to bed. Mm. Yeah. The coffee. The coffee like have you ever have you three ever tried coffee? I've tried coffee. It's like not really my thing. I like this thing that Rose calls tea. It's kind of good. I see. So now we have Rose. corpse tea parties. Corpse tea parties. That those are three words I did not <laughs> expect to hear together. Yet from your mouth they sound so normal I couldn't even question it. <laughs> However, the uh, yeah, that sounds like something you would do a corpse tea party. Yeah, fun. <laughs> I would invite you guys, but you guys always say no, so that is fair. But do, do you make the corpse drink the tea? I mean, they don't usually how drink, would it drink, the, how would it drink the tea. I don't know. I just kind of make tea and just kind of like hope they can move, but they don't seem to move. Hmm. I mean, I was moving when I was dead, so. You're just a different breed. I mean, Those most of us were beautiful. also moving. Like, these guys, they're not doing anything. They're just sitting here. They're lazy. They are very lazy. Very lazy. Very. Like, Jeff, he's just, he's just here sitting. He's not doing anything unless I do it for him. Hmm. Also, what is that string coming out of his head? I don't know, it was here. What? When I found him. Huh. It was just there. Yeah, I can pull him up like this then. But I don't think he would like that too much. Hmm. Oh, well, I mean, he's dead. I don't think he really cares. I mean, I would care when I was dead if someone was like pulling my horns up. I mean, yeah. Because like, that fair. would hurt. It's like a part of you. Well, it is a part of us, but like. Well, okay, wait. Are the skeleton, the body, and the spirit three completely different things? That's a good question. I feel like the body and the skeleton are more or less one in the same because, you know. Yeah, but you can see that Jeff does not skeleton. does not possess a body anymore. He doesn't yes. have one. I feel yeah. like they are connected, but they aren't the same thing. A body has a skeleton in it, yet a skeleton is not a body. So confusing. I know, right? It's so weird. Death is an odd concept. Very. Like, especially like, I don't know, there's so many weird things have happened. You know, I need data. data. Um, that makes it I couldn't hear you. Um, especially, it's even more confusing when one does not stay dead for a Yeah. Long time. So hmm. is it really, like, a bad thing if you die at that point? Like, you're just gonna come back. Like, come on. Maybe he's alive in a different... Maybe... Hmm, I want to say dream bubble, maybe? Who knows? What if he is just dead, though? Like, my thing is, how many humans can go into dream bubbles? Because to my knowledge, only the eight humans that we know were able to go into dream bubbles. Yet they did not seem to know what one was. Well, maybe there's more dream bubbles one. we don't know about. I believe dream bubbles, that's just part of like suburbs to grow up thing, right? That's not just Probably. like a when you die, you go to one. It's just like part of the game. That, right? That is that is what I'm yeah. thinking. I Probably. Would, <laughs> I would assume so. However, I might be assuming wrong. Yeah. It's kind of complicated even after the game. Like, how are you supposed to explain to everyone else around you that you were basically God for a point in time? I mean, if they are the type of person who believes in multiple gods, they would most likely judge you, but not as much who would only believe in one. Yeah, I mean, like, 
I heard Carcat and like the John human arguing like a while ago, like a long while ago. He was like, I made those stars for you because I am your god, blah, 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 blah. Like, how are you going to explain that to like a normal human being who has not been in like a death game? I think you would just have to try to explain that to them and then not be surprised when they think you were lying. I, I, fair enough. I mean, the humans got really used to the trolls being around by now. Yeah. For the most part. That's fair. But, like, seriously, very, very weird specimens the humans are. Very strange. Like, I got stuck in a human house, I think is what they call it. I believe so, yeah. They don't have recouper coons. They have these things called beds. Hmm. There's no oh. slime. You don't crawl in. It's just... How do you not have the nightmares if there's no slime? Exactly. Like, it's just... I think humans can have nightmares without the slime. Weird. Like, they have these blocks full of, like, feathers and other soft things in there that you put your head on. It feels so weird. So it's basically you are laying on a thing that is just covered in cloth and feathers. Yeah, it's that, that weird. Is- and same thing, like, like, it's just, like, a flat, like couch but not a couch it's weird odd yeah like i've seen i've seen them before but i i don't know about sleeping in them like it feels the past few nights has been like why recuperacoons are so much better Mm -hmm. you have the slime you can crawl into them you can just submerge yourself in the slime yeah it's there like, are so many perks to a recuperacoon versus a uh, bed. That's what's called, right? Yeah, it's called like a bed. But the one plus that they have is you don't have to clean, like, sh- like clean yourself or shower. Um, you know, after you sleep, because you're not covered in slime. That is the one plus. The so only plus. Alex Tavros could probably sleep in one better because uh, I've heard that he can no longer fit into his recuperacoon because of his horns. Which is sad. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how he sleeps because does he take off his robot legs? Um, I, Can I, the I, robot they're... legs go inside a recuperacoon? I mean, yeah, his legs uh, are go inside a recuperacoon, so I'd assume his legs can as well. His legs can go into a recuperacoon and they can also be taken off of his body. Yet, I do not understand why he would take them off to go and sleep and then have to wake up and put them back on again instead of just... Maybe it's like a comfort thing. Maybe. Mayhaps. I think it'd be pretty hard to sleep without his legs because then he wakes up and he's like... No legs! He just needs to struggle out of the recuperative. Exactly. That would be unpleasant. I'd have to imagine. That would be very unpleasant. Like... Uh, I can't imagine what it's like to be Tavros. Like, I don't know what it's like to like lose any of your limbs. So, can't really imagine what it's like to not have one there. Like, it's, it's, it's a strange like. feeling. I mean, I have I got the robot attachment yeah. not long after my limb was lost. So it's just it has a similar feeling. It's it's kind of different. It's hard to explain. But like when it first got lost, it, it still feels like it's there almost. It's 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 a strange sensation to oh, wow. describe to one who has not experienced limb loss, but Yeah, I guess you can only really know what it feels like if you actually lost one. Yeah. But like yeah. I never really thought about that until, like, Tavros lost his legs, and I was like, what does that even feel like? Like, do do you feel like you can still move them, but there's nothing there? Or, like, you're like, can't feel anything at all because of pain? To be fair, he could not move his legs even before they were robotic legs. Well, yeah, I guess, I guess that was kind of a favor, because they're just kind of there. But now he can walk with robot legs, so better. Robot legs look cool. They work. It's definitely a step up. And you don't have to figure out how to roll around in like a wheelchair. Yeah. You can just walk. So I think it's a step up. 
literally and figuratively. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Uh, well, I think our meeting, ha our little call has to end. It's huh. around the time that we have left on this Zoom meeting. Mm. Oh, how unfortunate. Very. However, yeah. it is possible. Well, it was really nice talking to you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Hope to see you whenever this quarantine ends. I'll be so mm. nice. Yeah. Uh, well, that was our Homestuck Zoom panel. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, hope to do more of these in the future, and hope we can see you guys more. Thank you to our lovely cast. Uh, why don't you go around and say your ats for whoever you want to? Okay. Hello, my name is Sophia. Um, follow me on and follow me on TikTok at emonebeta.cause. All right. Oh, oh, um, hi, I'm Natalie. Follow me at Sharpie Bath on TikTok. So. <laughs> uh, and I am Lee. You can follow me at Mushroom Dance on TikTok. And the O's in mushroom are zeros. So. <laughs> hi, I'm Rosa. Um, ah, whoa, right. Oh, <laughs> hi, I'm Rosa. Uh, you can follow me at Killer Geek uh, 7 on TikTok. And you can also follow me on Killer Geek. Um, or the one creator, uh, creator spelled with a K, 666, on Instagram. I'll be doing more things like this, more or less. The next one I want to do is for My Hero Academia. Um, so hopefully we can do more panels like, like this. Maybe we'll do another Homestuck panel with the same cast, hopefully. You guys were so <laughs> awesome. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. So I, really liked, I really liked working with you all. You're all such nice, cool people. But unfortunately, our time has come to an end. If you guys, you know, want to stay friends or something or, like, keep in touch, let me know. I'll give you each other's, you know, Gmails or whatnot if you wish. I'll ask permission, of course. And I can see Lee has a dog. <laughs> I do. I have a little puppy. He wanted to He's warm. so cute. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope to see you guys later in the future. You guys were awesome. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to work with you guys. This has been so amazing. Um, sorry this cast was a bit small. School is starting around the U.S. right now for the most part and around the world. And as things kind of even out with the entire virus that's happening, I hope this was a little light into your evening or day or whatever time it is where you live. So thank you so much. See you all later. Bye, guys.